to the party and we've got an exhibition battle for I'd say the ages. Um, it's it's exciting because when we first started doing the Schmodown, one of the first Schmodown matches that we ended up reacting to was Scarpino versus Bernardin. Yep. And uh, feels like a whole year Full later. Full circle, man. Yeah. yeah. We've got Bernardin going up against Lon Harris. Yes. I've I've seen Lon when we've been at Collider. I've sat next to him before, but I've never really conversed with him while we've been there at Collider. Yeah, I mean, I don't really know the strength of Lon Harris, so I couldn't really say to what uh, we're going to see in this match. But if uh, if he's going up against Mark Bernard, and I have a feeling like then he must know his stuff because Mark right. Bernard knows his stuff as well. And I'm really excited to see him come back. We've been waiting for him to come back for a while now, and it's good to see that he has finally able to come back. And not like Bernardin hasn't been busy. I mean, he's been doing pretty well with Fat Man and Batman. Fat Man on Batman with Kevin Smith. Yes. Um, and he's a very nice guy, and he's incredibly knowledgeable. And we got to see him in, you know, in action during the free-for-all. And, you know, we, we're we really hoping he can uh, have a, another successful showing. Yes. So that leads to the hashtag who you got. Uh, I'm gonna go with Mark Bernardin because I know his uh, know where he stands. But then again, Lionel Harris can come out uh, swinging. You say Lionel? I did say Lionel. I meant Lon. Let's go Lionel. I like it. Lon Harris. Lon Lionel Harris. Sorry. <laughs> um, uh, see what he can do in the match. So um, I'm actually I'm gonna go Lon. I'm gonna see. Okay. I want to see what he's gonna do. I got hashtag Lon. You convince yourself through the wild card. Uh, yep. Well, I'm going Bernardin though because he's the magic man. And I want to see him pull out a W uh, out of the hat. So let's go ahead and get into the battle between Lon Harris and Mark Bernardin. No. no. Just coming up. Hey, Fab. Oh, hey, Emma. How's it going? Good. Setting up. Emma. Yeah, just getting ready. Yeah, I mean, we got the spectacular coming up. That's. It's going to be crazy. Yeah. Those, those three vids are going to totally, look at us. totally crazy. Hey, speaking of maybe not so impressive. Uh, I saw you had that uh, that manager's bowl <laughs> thing with, yeah. with Tom yeah. and, and Jay, and I, I guess apparently now Ricky. Yeah, right? and I completely understand if you don't want to call uh, to, to do the interviews back there. Uh, I, no, I, I I totally want to be involved. Oh, yeah. great, yeah, great. I do. All right, yeah, we'll 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 get you in the back. There. No, no, actually, uh, I was thinking I would like to participate what? in that match. Okay, but it, it's the manager team, bowl, so Emma. it's only for people who right. are managing. Totally understand. Actually, I have someone that I am managing. What? Wait, since when? Well, I'm. Listen, I know that you love contracts, so I just happen to have <laughs> one here. Okay, with everything since organized. My competitor signed. So if you want to take a look in there, you can sign the seal, delivered. Legit. Yeah, everything's here. Wait, who? Wait, that's your competitor. Who? Who is it? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, I mean, this, everything's signed. Uh, you're in. Four-way match. Let's do it. Excellent. Yeah! Pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> <laughs> Fight for life! Oh, that's awesome. Well. Ooh, I'm really excited for that manager's bowl now. Now it's, be for me, it's between, uh, now, I don't know now. Yeah, uh, <laughs> man, I don't know. <laughs> Are joined by a former champ, John Rocha. It hurts to hear that, but it's the truth. A former champ. <laughs> Thanks for having me on, Ted. I'm yes. looking forward to this match. You know what? I know you, you, your fate uh, wasn't as uh, didn't end up where you wanted to be. Is what I'm trying to say in the Ultimate Schmodown Singles Tournament. But you're here. Uh, the tournament's behind us. We're waiting yeah. for the Schmodown Spectacular in December. We can take a breath, I think, because yeah. competition's already heating up. We got we got someone returning and a newcomer here today. Yeah, an old uh, B and a newbie, as uh, uh, that Benton Bernard would say. Dale, is that correct? Bernard, 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 Bernard. I haven't seen him in six months, so yeah. I don't know how to say his name. But apparently, <laughs> just call him the Magic Man. Oh, the Magic Man. That's great. He's pull a rabbit out and see if he can beat the professor. But this is interesting to me because he went to that. Our yeah. new commissioner, and I have right. my opinions about the new commissioner, but he went to our new commissioner and he asked to come back. 
he had made a great debut against Scarpino. Yep. He, he had a great showing in the free for all. I think we took him out. Our tri our, our yeah. Four, yeah, we took him out. And but now he wants back in the ring, and I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, he carries a one and zero record into this. Like you said, it's been about six months that we've seen him. So yeah. people might forget his, his, his. This is a man in and around the uh, film uh, journalist longer. world, yeah. writing world. He's a creative. He's a pundit. He uh, excellent work, as you said on Fat Man on Bad Man with yeah. Kevin Smith. So he's he's very well rounded. This is you can't pigeonhole him. I'm glad he's back. Very glad he's back. But he's going up against an unknown quantity to a lot of people in the Professor. Lon Harris, who claims he is here to teach the Schmodown a lot of things. Do you know anything about this man, John? No, I, I, all I know is uh, this man is intelligent. He knows a lot about movies. It, you don't call yourself the professor unless you do. This makes me feel about Leaping Lanny Poffo. If you remember Leaping Lanny yes, Poffo, yes. you know, it, it has that same kind of vibe to it. Well, so. a, lot of, <laughs> a lot of people have claimed to be things yes. here in the Schmodown. It all takes place out there, though. It's interesting. I, I do know a little bit about Lon, having worked with him at some other places. He's he's great coming up with uh, uh, fight questions. He's great analyzing films. Uh, he's a great fan of Curb Your Enthusiasm. We've had conversation, okay. uh, conversations about stuff outside Maybe of I'll the go ring. For I don't know what he's going to be like in here. This is going to be unknown. <laughs> Quantity, and he's got he's here to make a big thing. Well, you gotta be smart to understand Kirby enthusiasm. So that already speaks to him really well that he understands intelligent comedy. And he feels everyone in the Schmadown is about to be taught a lesson by the professor. I take that as an insult, but I appreciate the moxie right. on that guy. Well that's what we have to say about these guys, but what do they have to say about each other? Let's go to comments now. <coughs> <coughs> Question for glory. <laughs> it has been a while. I've been off in television land making television things happen, but I've been missing the, the thrill of competition, so I'm back. I'm the professor, Lon Harris. Now, he kind of talks like Kevin Smith, too. Smartest he smartest man. Like, does that thing you where he looks off to the side when he your talks. Thing, making your own stuff that you miss a connection After a people, while, when you work with people, with the, you kind of get the thrill of victory, the agony of defeat, and so I reached out. I wanted to get back into it. I wanted to get my hands dirty again. I've seen this schmo down, and it seems to be so caught up in contemporary films and mindless commercial garbage. I'm here to elevate the conversation. Let's oh, bring damn. in some, some worthwhile films to discuss, some, some avant-garde films. I've heard he's incredible. Bring a little class to the act. A little bit of erudite. I've heard he comes heavy and hard with scholarly knowledge. But, you know, I'm a natural athlete. We got this. <laughs> it's common for the less educated classes to believe in magic and magic men, but as a scholar and an academic, I understand that there is no magic to movie trivia. It's just dedication, knowledge, and, and raw intelligence. So I'm a teacher Sorry, man. That's why they call it movie magic. Learn something today, buddy. Oh, yeah. I'm the <laughs> Professor Lonnie Harris. Now... The Schmodown smartest man. I'm a film expert and a scholar, much, much more than just a fan. While you are all debating kids' cartoons and Michael Bay, I'm assessing Truffaut's influence on Bertrand. I don't think there are, have been so many Michael Bay questions, though. I will take you all to class, and that, students, is a metaphor. It means I'll kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Got a feisty. Sweaty. All right, see there, Roca. Bernard is here. He's back. Yeah. He's confident. Just wants to have some fun. The fans really took to him early on. He's yeah. he's a fan favorite for sure. But then you got the professor, Lon Harris, ending with a poem, reciting a poem, something I don't think I've ever seen here in the Schmodown before. He's pretty confident about his knowledge, John. I may have to go back to school because I don't understand half of what he said in that poem. So you know, <laughs> but he, I'm hoping he can teach me. He is the professor. Absolutely. Let's look at the tail of the tape. Mark Bernard is very well rounded, like I said. Uh, at two thousand movies, new releases, comic book movies. He is very well rounded. I keep saying that because all it's the things true, on the John, wheel, right? I it's fear. True. The it's professor, true. Lon Harris. I mean, uh, classics. Oscars, directors, uh, some of these directors I don't think we'll have categories for yet. The names he was given off and the, even backstage, I'm like, I, I didn't know who that was. Uh, I know Michael Bay. So we'll see what Lauren Harris can bring. All right, well, uh, Infamously I think, uh, know Michael I think Bay. it's time, John. Are you yeah. ready to get to it? I'm ready to go. Let's see what the magic band has. Let's Three lands to right. finish. If you're ready, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's get ready you to smoke it out. Three lands to a finish. Introducing first, representing the University of Elite Film Appreciation, <laughs> making his Schmodown debut. Oh, no, I'm digging his uh, persona too. Lord Harris! Proud, he's got a book. Look at that. <laughs> 
He's studying his up his own. The professor is here. Uh, you know, he's. I think he's got. He told me 14 film degrees. 14, 14 different. I, I mean, he may have been lying there. Wow. All right. It sounds like an online university. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just like a true professor, shirt out, doesn't uh, care what he. The South Harmon Institute he's of Technology. That's right. And his opponent, representing Batman on Batman. With a record of one win and zero defeats, here is the Magic Man from Mark the trailer for First Class. No! Oh, I dare it! The conference is straight. Look at that. And the public's love. Look at that. Yeah, he is. I forgot the name of that movie that he just <laughs> for the technology. I don't know what this is about. I, I know that Justin Long is in it. Sure is. And, it's and the, the penguin and from Jack Go 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 Professor, it's no, already going on there. Yeah. Accepted. All right, yeah, there John, the opponents there are set. Little talk in there. Yeah. Professor's already teaching us some things there. Modown time! Yeah. Here we go! Round number one! First question coming in, gentlemen, in the category of action adventure. Who directed 2016's war film, 13 Hours? <laughs> Done anything for 13 hours? Yeah, but I don't like to talk about it. That's probably a good idea. Yeah. It was some bad tacos. In five, <laughs> four, three, two. This is funny. One. All right, pens down. Mark Bernard. Michael Bay. That's correct for a point. <laughs> okay, for point just got them Harris. saying. Eh, it's a little beneath me, but it is Michael. That there's uh, like no Michael right. Bay questions in here. Out of the gate. All right, gentlemen. Your next category is comedies. Comedies in trading places. Who plays Ophelia, the prostitute that agrees to help? Winthorpe. That's with a W. Yeah, I like that name, Winthorpe. Yeah, Winthorpe's a good, good name. Lewis Winthorpe. I, I wish I, wish I was named Win. I don't. I'm kidding. Winthorpe like Apsock. Yeah. <laughs> Five, four, Louis. Three, two, one. All right, pants down, Professor. Uh, it was uh, actor Tony Curtis's daughter, Miss Jamie Lee Curtis. All right, sure. he's got that. No bonus points for the family lineage, Mark no. Bernard. Janet Lee's daughter. Oh, oh damn. Well, We've got some punches <laughs> being thrown here. All right, third Love question, it. gentlemen. In round one, in the category of dramas, in Martin Scorsese's Hugo, Hugo maintains what for his missing uncle at the railway station? Maintains what? Uh, no, I've never known anyone named Hugo either. Uh, I know Hugo Weaving once. You've known him once? Well... Knew Five, of him. Four, three, two, one. All right, pants down. Mark. I got a clock. That is correct. Ooh, nice. Professor. Of course, I also knew that it was a clock. Oh. oh. Tied up here. What is this? I was going to say pocket watch. Mm -hmm. like the is it a pocket watch? Okay. All right, our next uh, question it's like a clock. Is yeah, it's like a thriller. That's not Same. very <laughs> descriptive. Who plays reporter clock. John Klein in The Mothman Prophecy? Or the Mothman prophecies, if you like to. I mean, both works. If you're dignified, Mothman. Mothman? I'm not too dignified, Frontman? though. Yeah. yeah. Not too dignified. Kind of a slow uh, burn movie. This is, I'm loving this. Damn, I'm forgetting his phone. name. Yeah, this, is, this is great. I never had any moths give me prophecies. Five. Think four, of the gerbil. Three, two, I can't one. Those, All right, pens are down. The professor, Lon Harris. We all know the Mothman is rank superstition and does not hold up to scientific scrutiny, but my answer, I believe, Richard does. Gear. Richard Gere. Richard Gere. Whoa. Damn it. I went with his secret identity, Dick Gear. Oh, yeah, well, that we're works. Take that, you that guys. counts. Well, I don't believe he goes back. Yeah, huh. well. As far as you know, it doesn't go back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fifth question in the category of comic book movies. Neck and neck right now. Comic book movies. Yeah. Who plays CIA operative Everett Ross in Captain America: Civil War? You could probably be a good CIA agent. I can tell you. So? Yeah, you've got a you've got an air about you. I, I like, don't know. I've got a big mouth. I would give away all the sets. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Damn all right. It. We've got Mark Bernard answering first. Uh, William Hurt. That's that's what I was going to put, and I knew it was wrong. Incorrect. The last second, freaking professor. 
I do Damn like it. to watch movies with a little more intellectual content, but Martin I believe it's Freeman. Martin Freeman. Oh. Is oh. I, just, I was. I had uh, Martin. I and I think we're not going to see the Thunderbolt it. Ross. Yeah. Yeah. Thunderbolt Ross. 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 Damn. I almost went Diana. But. Oh, <laughs> we would have maybe Damn. accepted that. Just based I had on William Hurt talent. first. All right. Six questions coming in, John. And then I remember Everett. Is in the category of Oscars. Name one of the two films Oliver Stone has won the Academy Award for Best Director. Mm. One of the two films that Oliver Stone has won the Academy Award. Name both the films? One of the two. One of the two. I saw both of these um, in the theaters. That's how old I am. I don't, you know, I don't know. Yeah. I, I'd say you're 10 years younger. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Uh, five, four, three, two, oh, and one. Pens are down. Lon Harris. I believe one of them was the war classic Platoon. That is correct. Mark Bernard. Same old, same old. All right. Yeah. Keep in pace there. The Robbers have a 6-5 lead and has answered every question well, What so was far. the so other one? Seventh question in the round is in the category of fantasy sci-fi. Huh? Fantasy sci-fi. Who played the lead scientist, Dr. Nico, in the 1998 sci-fi thriller, Godzilla? Yeah. There were quotation marks around the thriller. Yeah. 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 Nico uh, Totopoulos. I, you know... I remember the wallflowers, that's about it. <laughs> we can four, be heroes! Three, two, Some person. One. Just for All one right, day! We are looking for Mark Renaghan's answer. Uh, it's supposed to be Matthew Broderick, but that's a brother. Uh, I will look to, he said it, so oh, yeah. you're gonna, I will it's accept it. It's true, he did say it first. Yeah, I'll accept it. Alright, uh, Lon Harris. I'm very disappointed in him, but it is Matthew Broderick. Alright, Lon Harris, wow. 7 of 7, 7 of 7. Alright, we'll come to the final Gotta question. Get a little more legible there. If Lon gets it, he will have Bernard a bonus and... question just for himself. Well, if you're going to be the professor, you got lucky you there, but if he got on second, classics. wouldn't have gotten it. We're doing it. What is the name of one of Atticus Finch's two children in To Kill a Mockingbird? We're uh, looking for one of the names. I thought it was movie once. One? That's how dumb I am. <laughs> I don't know if I could have got this. I'm just gonna go with a generic name. Yeah, let's a lot of people. Five, tend to have. four, three. Nancy. All right, we are starting here. A generic name with that a lot of people Harris, have. Professor, for a perfect That's round. True. I believe it is Young Scout. That is oh, correct for a perfect nice. round. Mark Bernard, can you keep pace? Scout. He oh, can. God, like only missed so one. That's close. a great first round for Mark Bernard. Wow. But the professor comes in wow. and gets a bonus question. We shall see. Have to write this down. This see. is just for you. You have 15 seconds to answer. Bonus question. Who played Shoeless Joe Jackson in Field of Dreams? Got 15 seconds to answer. This would go. Uh, oh, uh, James Earl Jones? I want to say it's John Cusack? That is incorrect. Looking for Ray Liotta. You were oh, thinking of okay. Cusack in the uh, other eight, movie, Eight Men Out, as he played uh, third base. So close. Movie. But you ain't in the club. Did you have a father, Professor? He missed it. Yeah, you must understand Field of Dreams, <laughs> for God's sake. I'm shocked at this All movie. Right. Baseball. But Baseball. Still, he still had a perfect first he round. Did, he he did. got to the respect, bonus there. Didn't get that ninth point, but he's up eight to seven going into round two. I think I'll go, You'll first. go first. I want to get out of here before office hours. Oh, oh, oh. Give him a big spin. <laughs> All right, oh. big spin. Big spin. That's a powerful right. spin, John. You don't need a T-A. His first spin, no. His first spin is in. He has a gun. John Carpenter. Carpenter movies. You can decide to keep it which I'm going to take yeah. it. He's okay. in John gonna take Carpenter it. movies. You I feel like there's no, so not that many weaknesses for him. You three for, the, for Lon? Yeah. It's, Your yeah. first but question. He kind of reminds me of Tim a little bit. What is the nickname of Jack Burton's big rig in Big Trouble? Pork Little Chop China? Express. The Pork Chop Express. Mm. That is correct for two points. Mm. Two points taking a 10-7 lead. Qu what, question, stop two. That question two. <laughs> what computer game does McCready play in The Thing? Oh, I thought he was going to say War Games. Oh. We just covered this. Shit. You say Pong. That is incorrect. Incorrect. Did not go to multiple choice. Mark, you could steal. Um, Zork? Incorrect. That's a great game, but we're looking for chess. Chess. Uh, chess. You ever chess. play? You ever play Zork? Little little type out game. All right, no. we're we're all no. old here. <laughs> Isn't that from Big? <laughs> all right, all right. Third question in the category: of John Carpenter. What Hall of Fame pro wrestler plays the character Nada in They Live? Oh, uh, uh, Mr. Rowdy Rowdy, Rowdy, Rowdy Piper. Absolutely. Yeah. Respect to Hot Rod there. Two points. Yeah. Final question. Final question. What Keith veteran David? actor portrays Father Malone in The Fog? I 
I don't remember. Uh, I'll take multiple choice. Then. All right. A. Harry Dean Stanton. B. Tom Atkins. C. John Hurt. D. Hal Holbrook. I'm gonna say Dean Stanton. I believe it's uh, B. Atkins. Incorrect for a possible steal. Mark Bernardin. Uh, Hal Holbrook. That is correct oh, for a oh. point in round two. Safe so, bet because uh, Harry Dean Stanton's in like everything. The professor mm -hmm. with they had two alien people in there too. John Hurt. Lead. He did pretty good. And Harry Dean Stanton. a hard Stanton. category. We don't see it here much. So uh, that means Mark Bernard is going to be playing from behind here with a wheel spin. Well, he's the magic man. Use the magic. Oh. Use that magic. That spell on the wheel. Magic oh. user, baby. Oh. Oh. Come on. Spinners. Okay. Oh, oh, days, but that is a strength of it. Are you going to stay with that or spin again? Uh, I'm going to stay with that. Well, He's going to stay Lon with that. also lost two so, points. Comic movies. Uh, make, make up some ground. You. Mr. Magic Man. Uh, in Batman Begins, what was the first method the League of Shadows used to destroy Gotham? Poverty. Um, poverty. Hmm. Crime. Okay. Destroying the war supply. No. Incorrect. 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 I believe it was a financial attack. The financial crisis. We'll Economic depression. Uh, it's we'll an answer. We're gonna. Points. We'll. We'll take Dang, that. Dang, that sucks. All right, a two points oh, deal. deal. Two points. Yeah, deal. the water was second. Anders, next question, Mark. Who played the mutant Psylocke in X Men Apocalypse? Olivia Moon. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Olivia, uh-oh, uh-oh. I know, I don't have to remember this movie. Um, I watch Attack of the Show like every day. Multiple choice. Not because right, of Olivia, though. Multiple choice answers are A, Kevin Sophie Prayer, Turner, B, mostly. Olivia Wilde, C, Michelle Yao, or D, Olivia Munn. D, Olivia Munn. That's correct that for correct. a point. Yes. Got him there. Stay close, stay close. All right, your third question in comic movies is, in Iron Man 2, what does Tony give the vendor in exchange for strawberries on his way to see Peppa. A BMW? His car. To say his car. This is tough. Multiple choice. All right, multiple choice. A, keys to a car. B, a roll of cash. C, his sunglasses. Or D, his watch. D. That's correct for that a point. Correct. All right, keep the pace. Well, he kind of needs his car to get to where question. he's going. He can take the Iron Man suit. I don't what know. Lord In of the Rings star Man's plays Delio, a Spartan soldier and narrator of 300. David Webb. That is correct. Damn. Two Good points. Job. Big answer. Big Still. answer. Woo. Big answer Lost there. Two. Keeps pace. A great round from Bernardin, but Lon Harris got a steal on that round. Gives him two key points. It means he'll have a lead going Would into the third round. A gentleman, the third or at round least works come like close this. If you will have a uh, chance to give right. me three yeah. numbers between Lon right. Harris as you are in the lead. This 14 match is going 12. by you too fast. I wanted to go first. We'll do uh, three, five, and nine. Three, Five and nine. All right, Mark Bernardin. Four, fifteen, twenty. Four, fifteen, and twenty. So, because Mark is behind, he will get to go first. John will be asking you the question, uh, your two-point question to tie the game. Number four, is that correct? That is correct. That is the category of movie taglines. What 1998 film had the following tagline? On the air, unaware. What year? 98. Uh, Truman Show? Yeah, probably. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Scanners. Oh. That's incorrect. Looking for Truman Show. Looking for Truman Show. Yay! Tagline uh, sucks. So stick with Mark Bernard. He can take a lead here, though. That he one, though, yeah, because he's unaware. And then right, year chose the I needed that year 15. again, though. That is coming of age movies. Coming of age movies. Like Ladybird. Two films directed by oh. Amy Heckerling, revolving around the life of high school kids. Name two. Clueless. High and Clueless. Correct. That is correct for go. three points. All right, he takes the lead there. She could be 15, a farmer 14. in those clothes. Getting it back to Lon Harris. Lon, you chose for your two point question the number three. The number three. That is the category of comedy. Category of comedy. Two point question. I like the comedies. Is, what actor took over as the new Santa Claus in the 1994 holiday comedy, The Santa Claus? Tim Allen. Oh, uh, 
to Matt. That is correct. <laughs> He's like, yeah, two points. It's an easy points. pickup. All right, oh, so this goes back to Mark Bernard. This okay, they put that into comedy, but I feel like that's more holiday lead, films or family films. But it could be comedy, too. I come guess. Back for the it was so funny. Five points. It's got to judge for any holiday. Yeah, it does. Category of Brad Pitt. And David Crumbles. <laughs> For your five-point question, in what Brad Pitt movie are real-life humans referred to as noids? Uh, Twelve Monkeys? What? No. Twelve Monkeys. And Joe Winner! You know, I got they were neck and neck for a yeah. while. Sometimes it just comes down to those questions there at the end, John. You know. Yeah. You know this was a close match though. Both men should hold their heads up high. Yeah, right? These were some difficult questions. Let you know that this is the, the tournament the, the Where the, were the, the noise from? matches are just getting harder and harder every single time. Your knowledge of movies really comes into play. It could have gone either way today and it just it went in favor of the professor. Could have gone either way, but yeah. the professor has made quite a debut. Yeah. Right now we are gonna go to the great Emma Five, who's backstage with the winner and the loser of today's competition. What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? Emma Fife here with today's victor in his Schmodown debut, the Professor Lon Harris. And was there ever any doubt? Well, I, I want to see Tim go up against Lon Harris. Sure. So, what? I, I want to see Tim woman. go up against yeah. Lon yeah. Harris. A, a scholar, yeah. an academic? I don't know. I have not seen his uh, curriculum vitae. Okay, well, <laughs> he's pretty well known in the film journalism kind of world. Sure, so. that, is, that is a word. Uh, but I, I mean, congratulations <laughs> to you then on, on defeating him because he was certainly a very worthy opponent today. Sure, yes, it was a, it was a diverting competition. D okay. Well, uh, you know, Lon, there, there was no doubt, tact, I think, you of anybody going into this match that you had a very broad film knowledge, but again, it was your very first time ever competing in the Schmodown, so was there, were there any sort of nerves or anything on your part going into it? Uh, nerves. I mean, I'm, I'm quite used to uh, getting up in front of a large group of people using my instrument to educate, enlighten, <laughs> and inform, uh, so this was uh, another day in the life of the professor, really. I, I mean, you're not a actual professor in, in real life. You're kind of making it sound what like What is a professor, but a one that teaches job, and expresses but, uh, can I, can I just Can I just say one thing in response to that? How dare you? Oh, well, oh, no. I'm just stating They're already turning fact. on Emma. Anyway, so uh, now moving forward in the competition, you've clearly proven that you are uh, making a very strong debut in this league. Who are you looking to take on next? Oh, I plan to work my way through all of the winning Schmodown competitors, the entire Schmodown uh, faculty, as it were, and I believe I'm going to start by challenging Mr. Cody Hall. I what? don't think Cody has ever competed in the... Showdown. Uh, well, then he it's about once? time he dipped his toe oh, into the ring. Okay, all right. Well, Cody Hall, obviously, who is the most untapped competitor that we've ever had here in the league. <laughs> Good clearly, usage. aside from him, from people who've already made a strong showing in the league, is there anyone that you're that you're after? I mean, there's no one who I'm intimidated by. I'm willing to take on all willing competitors, and uh, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, raise some awareness, challenge some minds. Raise some awareness? You know, awareness about uh, real film. Real film? Real okay. Film. Not this, this, this. Listen, I, I understand that it's it's Transformers and your GoBots and your Pokemons, and, and that's what the Schmodown <laughs> tends to be about. I, I'm trying to raise the level of discourse yeah. here just a little bit. I don't think we've ever had a question about GoBots or Pokemon the Schmodown. You should join Critically Acclaimed. The Schmodown? What? You should join Critically Acclaimed. It's what the children enjoy. You know, I, sometimes yeah. I confiscate the a phone. Fashion. You see yeah. it. Sure. Yep. I, I see be you are a man of exquisite mm -hmm. taste. I like to think. And you are trying to elevate the level of Schmodown question if, connoisseur, etc. If I can. If connoisseur? If I can. Okay, well, uh, I am certainly interested to stick around and see if that uh, happens for you, Lon. Uh, congratulations, sir, on your win today, and we will be right back with Mark Bernardin. And we are back with Mark Bernardin, the magic man, just... So close. Didn't yeah. quite go in your favor One today. Was that Gotham it's question? Measly boy. It's very, very true. I think that you can leave this match today with your head held up very high. I feel a little bit like Rocky, like I made it right, through the fight. Right, right, right. I feel like Adonis Creed. 
I yeah. did not make it through the fight, but I, I get I get to claim my name. I get to claim the match. Listen, and there's always an opportunity for a comeback. You know, you, you came in with your first match against Scarpino a long time ago, as you said, going into it a little rusty. Haven't necessarily you know, been working out your movie trivia muscles so the much. The hero's journey requires a downfall before an uplift. Exactly, so exactly. I will, I will take that hit. Yeah, you came in strong. Everybody can see that you're clearly an excellent competitor. You are meant to be in this league. And, you know, I think that, if anything, this loss today just further endears you to your adoring fans and will have people rooting for your comeback. I got kicked in the noids by Brad Pitt. What are you going <laughs> to yeah, do? Yeah, what are you going to do? Now, obviously, there's a lot of different opportunities. Yeah, to what was the noids from? Showdown. Tell would us. Would you ever consider entering into the team league? This. And if you I'll did, forget. who do you think you would uh, be Ooh, after as a forget. teammate? I don't know. I, I, I like the idea of teams. I'm a mm -hmm. collaborative person. Absolutely, nature, yeah. So Bring there, Kevin Smith. people out there I got my eyes on. Like I, I like that Andreco kid. You know, we sh we share a first name, so well, why the hell not? We could just be Team Mark. <laughs> we could just be Team Mark. Mark There's Mark a lot of Marks. Uh, There's a lot of Marks here in the show oh, yeah. now, actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I like exactly. Haley Fouch. Haley Fouch is oh. a good friend. They could be the Moxes. Also, like, I, figure, I, I think there's a way to be like the three-headed demon god of, of the showdown. Oh, Absolutely. Absolutely. Car Marks well, humor for singles, you. Singles, teams, however you choose to compete, I'm sure we have not seen the last of you, Fingers Mark Bernard. Any, uh, <laughs> any last words on, on your opponent, the professor there? I feel like, you know, book knowledge goes a while, but street knowledge will always take you down. So you keep sharp, Professor. I'm coming for you. That's true. All right. Well, uh, I'm uh, very sorry again for your loss today, Mark Bernardin, but uh, you know what? You're a great guy. I'm gonna sure, keep, sure we'll see you around here again very soon. Keep my chin up. Keep hope alive. All's good. Now, back to you, Ken and Roca. Ken and Roca. All right, you see there, John, that Mark Bernard, uh, he, he's not hanging his head down. He's hanging, keeping his head up. And he knows that he still has a future here. Maybe look at it, teams. Maybe he'll find a partner. He's not done. You know, six months off, yep. you shake that rust, you're back in the competition. The professor, Lon Harris, he was pretty sure of himself. Though he did pay some respects to Mark, he was pretty sure that this is just the first step to a larger lesson towards all of the Schmodown competitors. Yeah, he said it's his first course, and for everyone else to sign up because he, <laughs> the, you know, because the lessons are about to begin. Listen, I'm telling you, if you're going to come and make a statement in the Schmodown, you come and you win, and then you have something intelligent and fun to say, and you certainly did it. The professor has got my vote right mm -hmm. now. Hey, you know, the new commission, the interim commission, uh, is uh, Thad Waves. He's got to be happy about this competition here, bringing some of these two guys in. So the Professor is in the class. Yeah, what a debut for Lon Harris. <laughs> he did pretty uh, damn he well. He did very well. And let's see where he goes from here. Now, he has challenged Cody <laughs> Hall for some reason. Is that preluding to Cody coming in? I would love to see Cody in there, even though he has and said then in he, the past but, but he it's like, And it. then he totally, like, blows everyone away and does... So good, and he beats him and goes all the way to the championship. <laughs> You're really putting Cody at a high marks. But the mark that did not hit the high marks today was Bernardin. Uh, jumped the gun a little too much or too quick on that Gotham question. I mean, it was uh, uh, something he was excited about, so we understand why he kind of jumped in. But Lon Harris also certain questions he kind of missed too, um, especially the, the computer question for Thing. He and is human. It's, is what it means. It's true. Noids. He's he's annoyed. That's for sure. Yeah. Um, but all in all, he did not get into the the club where we are still in the club. I still I would love to see him go up against Tim because seeing him come in here, it did kind of feel like Tim because Tim trying to peg down things that Tim doesn't really have that knowledge on like it's very tough. few yeah Correct. there's very few in between you're gonna get him on a deep cut somewhere if you're gonna get yeah, Tim once uh, Tim is able to uh, come to the Schmodan he definitely will dominate everywhere and that's the thing though is Tim went in once and he dominated and we kind of saw that with Bernard and uh, and now you see him meet a foe where he did not overcome so will Tim be able to pull that out I'd love to see it against Lon because like Lon says he goes for the more untraditional choices in the Schmodown and we have other competitors like Roka and them that will go for you know the more directors and biopics as Mark would say uh, so many Marks I mean, there's so, many, so marks. many marks, um, but as Mark Ellis would say, um, so it's cool to see someone go in there that is willing to My take My dad's the... name is Mark. No, oh, well, congratulations. <laughs> I hear it's a nice name. Um, but yeah, it's cool to see a competitor that's able to go, you know, the other end of the board and it makes it more fascinating. Yeah, I mean, he can, uh, this is a good match for Lon, Lon Harris, but then he also could go... Lionel? The... Lionel. 
lawn hairs, but he can also go the way of make such a good debut here and then kind of slump a little bit later. Uh, I call it the... Uh, the Bibiani. The Bibiani curse. Well, the the Bibiani curse, I mean, the thing is, like, he dominated, absolutely dominated. Lon had a good showing here. It wasn't a domination, but it was a very successful quality play. Yeah. Um, and w many of us have been in that, you know, that, that type of a game, and you've ended up in a game where it's just completely against everything you know. Unfortunately, I feel like there's not a lot that Lon, like you said, doesn't know, and that's what got you to switch over. So, uh, yeah, I think he could go pretty far in this yep. league uh, if he sets his sights a little higher than the engineer. So we shall see what happens with Lon, and hopefully Mark Bernard comes back and he brings Kevin Smith with them, and they have this dominating tag team. Uh, would I would love fun. to see Kevin Smith in there. I know that he's a busy guy, but um, if there's ever a chance that someday he has the time to be in a maybe just a one-off uh, Shmona, I would love to see what kind of knowledge he can pull. Uh, he'd probably just spend the whole time talking because he's very good at that. <laughs> it uh, would be like a be like, can we get the question or can we get the answer? Like he'll like say the answer, but then like talk about the answer. Give a little story. That's yeah. true. That's what Kevin Smith does. You know what? Drop a Tucson in there with Kevin Smith when you try and get him in, because the dude's always here. He yeah. loves Tucson. So maybe that'll help uh, entice him a little bit more into the Schmodown ring. Everyone's from Arizona-ish. We're gonna never go back to Arizona. But either way, thank you guys for watching our reaction to the battle between Lon Harris and Mark Bernardin. You can like, you can subscribe. And you can do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Stardust. All the social networking gin joints. Yes, and then we also did a the, the, the that podcast. That this weekend for Nerd Chronic. Yep, Nerd Chronic, Nerdcast. Um, they're actually based out of Burbank, so we did a, an episode with them, and it's funny because we ended up talking, like with the real rejects, we ended up talking forever after it's the, the audio yeah. stopped rolling, so it's cool that we can actually engage in conversation with all these pretty awesome people in the, the nerd sphere of movies and all that, nerds. so check out what we had to talk about. We cover everything from Justice League to uh, Star Wars to Doctor Who to Stranger, Stranger Things, Things to all I, the we even get like stuff. we dish about Scream quite a bit on there yeah. too for a bit so check that out on Nerdcast and the Nerd Chronics Nerdcast uh, we'll have the link down below but either way thank you guys so much hit up the Patreon kick into the party fill the party keeps the party going because we're going to Collider video and uh, soon. yeah yeah very soon actually and in fact you might even see our reactions to the Star Wars match coming up fairly soon. So stay tuned for that because it's going to be a hell of a good time. Yeah. But either way, thank you guys so much. And I'd have to say now this party is over. Bye. This party is over. No, yeah, like that. <laughs>